Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We started looking at the book of Genesis chapter 22 verse 1 to 2. And we said that out of these two verses, we are getting three things. Yesterday we started by looking at the person. Who is this that Abraham is told to pick or to take? It is his son. And verse number two says, take your son, your only son, yes, Isaac, whom you love so much. And go to the land of Moriah. Go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will show you. The person, Isaac, to us and our Christian faith, the only person we can relate him with is our Lord Jesus Christ. And in this case, we are saying God gave us his one and only son whom he loved and he loves even now. He gave us his best. Even you and me, comparing ourselves with Abraham, when God calls us, he wants us to give him our best. What is this best that we can offer unto God now that we are not being asked to offer our Isaac? Our Isaac today is our very lives. You can only surrender your life to God to please him. Give him your best. Surrender in totality and allow God to take charge. And so we said that the three things that are coming out is the person, the place, and the how this is supposed to be done. Today, we will look at the place. Abraham was supposed to take a journey, actually a three-day journey, to get to where God wanted him to perform this particular thing. And many times when God calls us, we want to dictate where we want to do what he's telling us to do. You cannot. You must do it at the right place. How many times have we missed the blessings of God because of wanting to do what the Lord has instructed us to do, but in the wrong place? Maybe like Abraham, you may say, why should I cover a three-day journey, yet I can still do it where I am? This is a call to obedience and heeding to the instructions God is giving us. Abraham was supposed to go to a specific place. And so brothers and sisters, as we seek to please God by giving him our very best, we must also be ready to go to the right place where he leads. And it is important today for you and me to ask ourselves, Am I doing what I'm doing at the right place? Whatever it is that you feel that God has instructed you to do, are you doing it at the right place? Have you listened to the instructions that God has given you? It may cost you three days, five days, such a distance. But so long as it is God who has called you, we must be ready to heed to his call and be at the right place. Maybe it is a certain ministry in your life that God has called you into. Are you performing it at the right place? The place matters. When our Lord Jesus Christ came to save us, the place was at Calvary. He had to get there for us to experience redemption. For us to please God in our service to him, we must seek to go to the right place. And the place here today for you and me, it may not be geographical, but it is that aspect of heeding to the voice of God and being where he wants you to be. Be it in your spiritual life. God wants you to rise. What is this that is hindering you? to rise in your spiritual life. It may not be geographical once again, but the aspect of understanding 
that this is exactly what God wants me to do and this is where he wants me to be. That commitment, that dedication, ready to pay the cost, ready to cover the distance, that is what pleases the Lord. Abraham would have said, I will do it right where I am. But God instructed him, take him, go to the land of Moriah, go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will show you. Allow God to show you, allow him to lead you, and you draw a lot of joy in your ministry, in your calling, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Amen.